everybody it's Julesy from Julesy Designs uh, just a quick one I've been making some more pockets with book pages but this time I actually added gesso and um, these are the ones I've been playing about with I actually used embossing powder on that one I stamped that one but it's mainly to use the stencils because I think the stencils look quite nice so what I did was I coffee dyed some of these papers and I put gesso on them. Now clear gesso, it's really easy to use. I got mine from, I think, um, Creating Craft. That's if I can get it open. I've had it ages. I had to add a little bit of hot water to it. Now I just use my um, glue spreader. That's probably a bit much. And all I do is I just scrape it on. I should have my messy mat down, otherwise I'm going to get it all over my... Right, and see, because these I use um, once they've been filled up with stencils and that I use them. In my journals as well I don't waste anything you can see where I've been playing this with stencils and stamps and and that's all I do and I just scrape it on and then I let it dry you can dry it with a heat gun um, clear gesso is just like the white gesso it's um, got glue in it and so if it gets a little bit dry you can put a bit of boiling water in it and it will reactivate it as you see I didn't use all that and then it's easy to scrape it back in your jar that's probably why my jar doesn't always open and then I just leave that to dry I usually do several but we'll leave them to dry because I've already done some but I did spray coffee and tea on these now so what I do is I fold the book page in half and then I fold that bit down you can see so you can cut that off you can actually cut this off up here And then I'll use the glue that I've been whoops, using. This is just to stick it um, glue. They're actually handy for traveling. Um, if you want something small just to take away with you. And then I just fold that down. Just let me clean my card off a bit and all that does is when you oh, a bit glue on it it just helps it crease it down as well so there we've got that now I have been using it you can see I've been using blue and brown so I've been using um, I did a little bit of chipped sapphire. Um, I've used faded jeans and stormy skies, but I quite fancy doing um, some greens and yellows uh, on this one. So we'll see what we've got. So I've got forest moss, crushed olive, Peeled paint, um, I think the only yellow I've got is scattered straw, that's black soot, we're not using black soot. So 
So I've got my stencils here. I have cleaned them. This is how this is how you get this, just with a, a wet wipe. When you're cleaning your stencils, you get the the imprint, which is quite good actually. So I think I shall do this one. That's pink. Um, right. So that's got a little bit of tea dye in it as well. Um, I'm going to <laughs> cross pollinate my <laughs> my stamps or my stamp pad anyway so I'm using crushed olive on this one and I think we'll do a little bit here just I'm actually just inking the edges with the crushed olive as well these book pages have been damaged by water in the past um, as I said from 1932 And we'll put that one away now, what we're going to use on there. Sorry about that. My video cut off. Um, I got a, a message and it cut the, the video off. So what I did eventually, I decided to do the Victorian velvet on this one. So it was like the pink and the green. So what we'll do is we'll just stick this one down and it's just the the two ends and I mean you can leave them like this when you've glued them down or you can sew them if you like the stitched look I like the stitched look and I also like the non-stitched look as well but then you can put like a little label on and um, when you come to put it in your your journal so that's that one done now it's just to let you know that the clear gesso has dried. Um, it's got kind of a, a matte coating on it now. So what we'll do is we'll do one without the the coffee dye. So we'll fold that one up in half and then open it up again and or maybe it's not do such a shallow pocket we'll do a little bit deeper stick that down there we are Get my So I'm going to stick with the, the green, I think. Um, when the video cut off, I actually got some green a pad for my green, but I'm going to use this one, the damask one this time. Now I'm sticking with crushed olive because the peeled paint is a bit too deep for what I like. You don't have to go right down to the bottom. It's just really what shows above your pocket. There you are. And I will do 
a little bit of pink again which this one I've, i did use the victorian velvet but i've got one lipstick now i can't remember how this one mm, that might be a bit too pink but we'll try it we'll try it you can always feed it with water Quite like that that's nice so we'll do the the pink on this side I thought that would have been too too bright but it's not and we'll have a go at the peeled paint Just try it at the edge. No, that's fine. And I must remember to put my lids back on. That's probably why half of them need re-inked. I get carried away with stamping and inking and and forget. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of one lipstick just mingle it in a bit oh yeah quite like that that green's actually nice it's not as bright as what i thought it would be um so that's the crushed velvet the worn lipstick and these are the worn lipstick and that's the peeled paint they are quite nice so i think i'll ink this with the the pink sometimes it's nice to use a different color other than walnut stain and tea dye and vintage photo oh, my pad's a bit wonky Just fancy using some different colours, especially because I've got a spring journal coming up um, and I wanted some nice spring colours. So we'll ink this down. There we are. It's a nice little pocket. And as I say, you can stitch it. You can leave the raggy edge on. Sometimes I leave the raggy edge on. Sometimes I don't. So these are the two that we've done today. And I'm quite pleased with these. They've turned out really nice. So thank you, Cara, um, for reminding me to use my gesso on my pages. And so absorbent. She watched my um, video yesterday. And I'd said that the... The page was too absorbent for using pens, but no, I like that. So thank you very much for joining me and hopefully you'll join me again for more. Please leave a comment um, if you would like to see more, especially if me doing the, the journals, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.